You're all being very indulgent. I'm Dr. Curtis Sandberg, the Vice President for the Arts here at Meridian, and this is time to two minutes and then you're free. Um, our Arts for Cultural Diplomacy program, Meridian's Arts for Cultural Diplomacy program, features remarkable artworks from around the world. And we, we curate, we develop exhibits that utilize various media, they focus on different historical periods, uh, they provide audiences in Washington, D.C., around the United States, and around the world with an insight into other peoples and other cultures through their highest achievements. It's sort of that good special place to find out about others and appreciate them. But we also curate exhibits such as this one, which tell important stories through photographs and through historical documents. Now, we're here to celebrate tonight, and it's very exciting for us. We've survived this. It's on the wall. We're here to celebrate a partnership with the U.S. Department of State that required us to delve deeply in a very short amount of time into a century of connections between America and Afghanistan. This became really on a personal level for all of us and my staff, it became a, a, just a voyage of discovery. It, it was you know, like going to college again. Uh, it eventually it involved nearly 45 lenders, private and public, uh, connections with some extraordinary people, some of whom are here tonight, who experienced firsthand some of the things that you see on the walls. This is the first time, as we've all alluded to, that, uh, that something, a collection of this kind has been collected, that these, these photographs of this nature have come together. And it has been for us at Meridian a, a true privilege to tell this story and to share it with, with the American public and with, with the Afghan public. Um, it's dedicated to people who were there, who did these extraordinary things. And it's, these are very, you know, as, as, as our ambassadors have said, these are very, very unsung activities. They were things that weren't really well known, sort of, you know, some element of building a dam or something like that, or taking photographs of early ICA, AID things. But each of these human instances came together and created friendships. And uh, I think this exhibit is really going to be quite a revelation to Americans and to Afghans, as it was to us. Um, it's very important, as we've said, that the stories reach young people, uh, both in Afghanistan and the United States. Uh, there, there's been this 30-year disconnect, and uh, no one knows. We didn't know. So it, it's been very sobering and very delightful at the same time. These are the people, the young folks, who are going to be called upon or being called on to build a safe and a secure and a prosperous future. So this will help them see sort of where we were and how we get there. Now, there's not time to properly recognize a lot of you out there. I wish I could. But we've given, if you see people with a lapel pin, kind of a round lapel pin, go talk to them. Introduce yourself. These are some of the people who were there back in the day who did some extraordinary, extraordinary things. Find them. They'll tell you amazing stories, just as they've told us. And this is not just an exhibit launch. It's a reunion. Think high school. <laughs> now, wrapping up, I'd like to, yeah, that is scary. I'd like to thank a few people, and then I'm done. Uh, Dr. Christopher Thornton, who's our researcher and uh, our, our co-writer and project partner of the National Geographic Society. Chris is out there somewhere. Uh, Dr. Fred Hebert, there's Chris. Dr. Fred Hebert, also from the National Geographic Society, uh, who is a great expert on Afghanistan, who lent uh, you know, much to this exhibit. Um, Terry Harvey and Lindsay Amini on our staff, on the art staff, and likewise Erica Cosgrove is here somewhere who was on our staff and did a lot for the show. And then really I want to heartfelt thanks to the officials of the State Department who have been great friends, Carla Benini and others, to all of our friends in Kabul, the U.S. Embassy Kabul, who have been extraordinary, continue to be great partners, and in the Embassy of Afghanistan and to the Afghan, um, Afghan um, um, Ministry of Culture and the National Archives as well. They've been marvelous friends and helpers. So please enjoy the photographs, enjoy these documents. These all represent some of the many extraordinary moments in a long and fruitful relationship. There are a lot more, and go find those people with the lapel tags. And if you have any questions, ask us. Thank you, and thanks for being here.